Hi everyone, the Afghanistan pre-release video released by Eagle Dynamics yesterday gave us a few more sneak peeks at the upcoming Boeing CH-47F model Chinook. I have to say first though, this is a great looking map and represents an area of the world I visited frequently during my time in the military. First of all, Let's play the short clips which I've stitched together, then break them down so I can point out a few things I've noticed, which are all pretty much good, apart from just a couple of little things that I hope they fix before release. Looks great, right? Great, great models, but we'll go into some detail anyway. Okay, so first of all, we have a closer view of the outside of the aircraft from, from the left-hand side. So we can see the number one engine, um, otherwise known as the, the port side uh, engine, the exhaust. Certainly looks like it's got a uh, Honeywell 714 Alpha engine, which is fitted. You can see the angled exhausts. Uh, close up, the structure looks great. You can see all like, the, the rivets, panels and everything. Right, yeah, right down to the individual panels that can be removed for uh, essentially maintenance, so access to the um, internals themselves, and some great weathering on it as well. Next, we have the ramp area. So lots of detail in here, uh, certainly far more than the Miltech D model Chinook, which was recently released uh, from Microsoft Flight Sim. If you've not seen it, check out my uh, video review of, uh, of of that one. It's not bad, but um, certainly needs a, a bit of bit of work. And and they, uh, I, I think when the the sim update 15 comes in, which should kind of uh, enable the uh, flight dynamics to work better, then, then we'll kind of revisit and see how it is. But certainly in in, in terms of the internals um, for that model. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of okay. It's very, very kind of basic, um, especially when you compare it to this one that we've got um, like this sneak peek of inside of here. So you can see on the left hand side, uh, we've got a hand pump. You've got a thing called an e-pusher that I can see there as well. Some, yeah, some good, good detail. And then on the right hand side, yeah, very, very kind of f familiar stuff. Um, I think because this is an American um aircraft um i'm sure somebody correct me in the comments or whatever but um i think there might be some controls to to perhaps for the apu but i'm just kind of guessing for for that uh particular box so you can see with the indicator and the switches on the top um the so the the thing that they do need to fix though uh, are the tow ramps right right the three tow ramps that you can see kind of sticking out into into fresh air um, this is actually where the Miltec model um, sort of gets it right because when you set up the front you have this kind of iPad and you can sort of select it they they fold in right this is how it would be in in, in flight yeah you'd never have those kind of three tow ramps folded out unless that is you're like a crazy and I think it might have been a, an Australian crewman I'm not quite sure but I do remember seeing like either a video or a pic picture or something like that and they did have the tow ramps kind of folded out in flight and the uh, flight engineer crewman was kind of hanging right on the very end they kind of lengthened their chops or whatever but yeah you, you you just wouldn't do that right they'd they'd be folded in uh, a flat flat to ramp f for sure um yeah go try try and google google that see if it's see if it's in um Okay, so the next thing, and then obviously the other thing is, we, you know, there's there's no armament or anything like that. You can't see any crew. Uh, normally, there'd be some kind of armor which should be sat on on the ramp at the back. Um, and and in general, you know, we've not really seen any kind of armament yet. Um, I guess they're probably saving that up for the actual release trailer. Uh, and then certainly I'd expect to see a lot of like minigun action, flares zipping out, that kind of stuff. Then we look to the outsides. Um, yeah, profile looks great. Um, 
weathering, as I said before, there's no kind of armaments. So in the doors, you can see um, the spots for the defensive aids, so for the chaff and for the flare, but there's no actually actual kind of magazines or, or whatever fit in it in this model. It's like a basic, you know, for example, something that they'd just be flying around in training or, or whatever. Um, the blades on this, I just have a look at that. So they do look better in this version than, uh, for example, the Miltec one, because they're, they're kind of weirdly kind of stretched out at the, at the root. Um, and regards to ramp again, uh, as, as I said before, you know, the, t the toe ramps wouldn't be out like that. They'd, they'd be folded in. Or also, you'd, you'd expect the ramp to be, um, unless somebody's like, ramp riding on the end of it or something like that but uh, it's not really something that we do in DCS so it normally kind of be in the closed position so around about like a 45 position or 45 degrees should I say lastly we got this cool shot of the landing so you got some decent kind of downwash effects uh, landing looks good you can see the back wheels are uh, nice and kind of locked in again I've, I've done that kind of pinnacle landing uh, video which uses the AI models and one of the problems that they seem to have in that is that the swivel locks um, don't seem to lock so when the aircraft kind of lands the back wheels are all, sort of all, all over the shop for, for that which is why they land a bit funny but this one yeah it looks good um, and uh, I kind of Taken from that, that yeah, like pinnacle landings, all that kind of stuff should should certainly be possible in in this this model. I, I'd be surprised if they weren't, to be honest. Um, the only other thing I'd say, I mean, you can see that the ramp tongue is all the way up, so that's basically this um, this 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 kind of panel. It slides up from inside of the ramp to to sort of fill the gap at the back. To be honest, if, they, if they're on operations or something like that, that um, ramp ramp tongue would be in. So people can, but as soon as the aircraft touches down and comes to a stop, whatever's inside can, can get out really quick and whatever's on the outside can get inside really quick. You'd only expect it to be up. For example, if they're, uh, say, doing a, a long leg over water or something like that, or altitude or whatever to, to keep the inside of the cabin nice and warm with the heater going so there 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 you have it um bit bit more information about the the upcoming chinook i'm really looking forward to this one obviously by the uh by the numbers of videos that i'm kind of pushing pushing out at the moment and um yeah afghan map looks really really good they have said it's it it is going to get um bigger um certainly those that have spent a bit of time around the kandahar region uh this this is is gonna i suppose kind of scratch that itch so, so to speak and then when the rest of the country comes in um then yes you'd be able to for example uh, go around kabul and bagram and and um and and places like that yeah so yeah a bit more information um Really looking forward to this one. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.